Right, you're going to have to tell me about the land speed record. What 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 was the story behind that? It's funny actually because every year in the in the US there is this land speed record thing and um a bunch of it's mostly university teams actually uh participate in it and in the in the Netherlands uh, there is this this uh, technical university they build a recumbent bike like totally fitted to the person that's gonna do the um, record attempt and they try to make it as aerodynamic as possible oh of course goodness. and then uh, because the attempt is in uh, Nevada desert so it's on altitude and and the road has like a little little bit slope down uh, and it's an eight kilometer straight road oh and you and everyone has like several attempts in one week to try to break the, the speed, re speed record but then there's all these things like uh, the, the strength of the wind and like there's so many um, variables uh, variations that yeah. make that 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 make it um, if, if the if the run is legal or not Hey. So, uh, but it, but it was just a, like a cool experience, especially so to were see you, were those. You in, were you in the recumbent bike? Yeah, so you're <laughs> in like a shell. It's like yeah. a shell. Uh, there is like no window. There's a like a camera on top, and you have like a screen inside. Oh so you watch the screen. <laughs> it's like super scary. How, like, do, how yeah. do you know which way? You, like, you're are you behind a car or like does it know where? No. To, do you steer? Like, how does that yeah, work? Yeah, you, you, you steer, uh, and that's actually the difficult thing because you steer, but you and the, the the road is more or less straight. Yeah. But of course, a little bit of width because you go like a hundred k's an hour. So a little bit of width, and you're like two <laughs> meters to the other way to the other side of the oh road. Oh my so god. It's, it's it feels like if you're, yeah, it, it feels a bit like down, going, descending on your race bike, like a super, super stiff race bike. And one, you know, if you, if there's like a little stone on the road, you go like, whoop, and that's oh exactly God. what happened. In, uh, so it feels like, yeah, like in a, that you're cycling in a rocket or something. Oh my <laughs> God. That must have been so scary. <laughs> Yeah, actually, it was quite scary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, how fast yeah. did you end up going? Going uh, 116 k's an hour. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> but the record actually is 100. Uh, currently, it's 125, I think. At that oh, point, wow. it was 121. So, uh, wow. I didn't break it. Yeah. So, you're going on this 8k road do you do like a sprint or is it like um a consistent effort yeah so you have like a six and a half or seven k like run into the sprint and then they they uh time you between i think it's a 500 meter uh stretch so yes it's sort of getting the bike up to speed and then time your sprint at this at the right moment which I found really impossible in such a <laughs> in such a bike, so I think that's where it also went wrong because it's really hard to time if you're there's like these signs on the road, but yeah. if you go 100 k's an hour and you look on a on a screen, it's like impossible to see like oh two k's to go, let's speed up. <laughs> it's, not, it's more like wow. <laughs> oh my god! Well, you no. did have the women's world cup sprint jersey so i think you're probably the best <laughs> the best person for the job <laughs> yeah oh amazing anyway, it was a it was a cool experience and it was a good way to at least like keep keep my body going for another year yeah, <laughs> yeah. oh my god I, I, yeah my, i don't how did you even get involved with that was it was yeah they just asked me they yeah. asked me to uh, uh to participate this yeah it's like a, a team of, of students and they're all uh, they're all taking a year off their studies to work on this project so oh, they're wow. working on it full time did you and, have like uh, a radio were they like come on Iris go fast <laughs> yeah so that was actually the point but it never worked that whole week so oh, oh no. <laughs> the most simple aspect of the whole uh, of the whole project didn't work and uh -oh. I think that was Wow, 116 kilometers an hour. That is impressive. <laughs>
On a flat road, uh, yeah. Oh, flat road. Road. Hey, hey, well, you know, you're used to flat roads in Holland, so. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Wow. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. And to listen to the full podcast, you can search the Kira McVitie podcast in your favourite podcast platform, or you can click the link below. Keep risking it for a biscuit and I'll see you in the next video.